Yeah, Christine, we're here on 9th Street East, right along 19th Avenue East. Now, if you look behind me, you can see cars are just starting to make left turns from 9th Street onto 19th Avenue here. About 30 minutes ago, it was a lot more hectic here, a lot more backed up, but luckily that's gone down a lot, but we can still see a lot of congestion along this road. And a lot of the neighbors are telling me that they just want the city of West Fargo to better sync up all the traffic lights along Veterans Boulevard and 9th Street East here. Green arrows, blink and you might miss them. That's what West Fargo neighbor Sean Nolf posted to next door, detailing several complaints about the traffic lights down Veterans Boulevard and 9th Street. I went out and timed some of them. Here at 36th Avenue by Liberty Middle School, I timed this green arrow at 10 seconds. Another commonly complained about area, 23rd Avenue East, coming out of Costco, timed in at 18 seconds. But it still wasn't long enough for all the cars lined up, even around 1 p.m. The city of West Fargo says they are working to improve some of these lights, including that one by Costco. We're looking at adding a northbound left turn. So we have a dual northbound left. Now this, during peak hours, should, you know, you double the number of lanes, you roughly double the number of people you can serve the same amount of time. But with construction nearby, people are looking for alternate routes overcrowding these other areas. We have 10 pounds of traffic we're trying to fit into a five pound bag. Now we could build additional lanes, make more turn lanes, more right turn lanes, more through lanes. That comes at a significant cost. Or are we just going to have to learn to suffer with a little bit less level of service during peak hours? The city says it works with KLJ Consulting, a professional engineering service, to sync the lights up as best they can. And they're considering all the complaints. Just because we, we can't change anything or we don't change anything does not mean we're not looking into it. Now where we are, we're on 9th Street East, as I said, we're right by Blarney Stone Pub that you can see behind me. I timed this traffic light to be about eight seconds long, and while I was watching a little bit earlier today, I saw at one point only one big truck with a tractor get through. I'm told that sometimes people get so impatient with these left turns that they'll just kind of go on their phone and almost miss this short-lived light completely, and then the people behind them will end up running these red lights, causing a little bit more traffic concerns. Uh, Christine. All right. Thank you for that live report, Rose. Chris Brunk.